Hey you guys, welcome back to Minecraft. Now as you can see the sun is setting on our world and I am out of the caves. Um I went ahead and off cam, went ahead and mined everything. I didn't get oh didn't get diamonds or any super valuable, but I got some good stuff. I mean we got this and this and as you can see I you know put my wall of torches up. I got tons of iron ingots. Um, so yeah, now, today, I am going to venture out and find a place to build a home. Uh, I've already got a cool idea for my house. Um, basically, I'm going to build my house. Um, I'm actually going to my house, uh, wherever I decide to put it is actually going to be designed from the house that I live in in real life. I thought that'd be kind of fun. I've never really done that before. I've done, I'm in my grandparents' house before in Minecraft. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, before I get too far into this, I just want to say, um, I know my first recording session, I said there would be Skyrim coming out soon, and I still intend on doing the Skyrim series. Um, but I intend on it being a modded Skyrim series, and right now, that's a bit of a problem, because, uh, the Nexus Mod Manager, which I use to download and manage all of my mods, is really, really, really buggy lately, because they've just released new updates on things, and I had to basically, when the update came out, it basically completely wrecked my game, and I had to uninstall every mod, and I mean, every single mod, I mean, I couldn't even keep Sky UI, and for those who use Sky, modded Skyrim, you know Sky UI is more or less the one and only mod that, it, it's, it's like, the holy mod. It's used in all the time. I mean, it's like SKSC. But, yeah, so I still intend on doing that. It's just gonna be a little while longer because I do want to have it modded because Vanilla Skyrim is great, but I kind of want to have it modded because I've played enough uh, Vanilla Skyrim and I'm sure you guys have probably seen enough Vanilla Skyrim on other channels. So I intend on modding it and doing kind of something fun with it that has been kind of popping up recently and I figured I'd go along with it and do it too. Um, and I'll explain that when the series comes out, hopefully in a couple of days. But yeah, it's coming. It's coming soon. So yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into it. So, when my map site sold, here it is. As you can see, I originally I was thinking of, uh, you know, killing all the inhabitants of this little place here and taking it for myself. But I'm rethinking that. Because, uh, A, that's not so much fun. I mean, nah, not all that much fun. And, B, as you can kind of see here, Taint is pretty close. I mean, on the map it doesn't look like a lot, but... If you look, it's like X negative 6, Z 613, and that's only about Z 495, so that's about 200 some odd blocks away. It's, it's a little closer comfort, and not only that, but there's some over here, too. Quite a ways away, some, well, not even, it's... That's also only about 200 some odd blocks away. So yeah, we're pretty, that's pretty close for comfort. It's a little too close for comfort. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head out, venture, and try and find a nice place to build my house. I'm thinking of uh, swinging over because there seems to be some kind of, uh, I think that's a looting area for Thomcraft that adds like a, like like a ritual site type thing, ruins made out of obsidian. They usually have a couple of chests in them. And then I'm gonna loot that, see what we get, and then I'm gonna head over here, because it looks like there's a bit of a plains biome that might start over there. So, yeah. Let's head on to that.
Uh, yeah, as you can see, I got some full armor here. Uh, let's get some. I got some wood. Let's get some torches off the wall. Grab a couple more of them. Uh, do I have any leather? I don't have any. I have saddles. Hmm. Oh, I also made a book bag to help me carry all these ores because I can't. I, my inventory's getting pretty full, so I came back up and got stuff to make that. So, yeah, I'm gonna cut the recording and talk to you guys when I get to the little obsidian obelisk thingy. Alright, talk to you in a sec. I was definitely wrong. It's not a little, uh, uh, thing I thought it was. I thought it was one of those, uh, little places that have two chests on them. Because if you zoom in real close, it looks like there's two little brown spots which shift me off to make it think, oh, maybe it's, uh, Ritual site. I mean, usually it's one in the center, but I thought eh, maybe it's different. No, it's a uh, one of those places, and those little two brown things are they're uh, banners of evil. Uh, yeah, Crimson Cole, not nice people. I'm gonna get out of here before they see me, cause they hit like a freaking semi truck. Yeah, I'm uh. Yeah, gonna go keep looking, head off into the distance. Yeah, talk to you in a minute. Okay, so I have reached my destination. I threw a white point down here to, so I could, you know, not constantly check my map. Am I going the right way? You know, so I can just run for it. I'm gonna kill these cows, because, uh, generally you can make, a, uh, again with leather, you can make a hand glider. That thing. So freaking amazing. Like, oh my gosh. They're so useful. And then to cut my travel time in a portion, I mean, it, 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 it cut my travel time tremendously because, you know, hop on top of a large mountain and glide away. Now, I noticed on the map that the heck uh oh it's cause I was under that there we go okay yeah we got one of the another dungeon here I'm gonna head up to this high point and I forgot my bed so I think I might just kinda of say screw it and set it to daytime if you know what I'm saying achoo <coughs> <clears throat> uh, uh. Well, hey, it's daytime. Huh, I guess my sneeze is, uh, you know, appease the gods of day and night and, uh, made it, uh, daytime for me, so. That is a big freaking place. Holy cow. My god, this place is huge. Like, wow. Imagine the boss in that place. Dang. Probably all skeletons. No, I think I also saw, yeah, Applied Energistics Place. I don't have a pickaxe to get into it, I don't think, though. Am I going the right way? No, I'm going the exact opposite way. Look over there. I could probably see it from here. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there's a Applied Energistics Meteor, and if you don't know what those are for, they give you, um, uh, inscribing presses, which you use to make drives and other various parts of a, uh, ME system, which is basically a gigantic chest inside of a computer, and you can search and craft with it, and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful machine. And that's one of the first things I intend on doing. Just making one of them. Because they're like a super chest. <laughs> and they, eh, they're kind of expensive, but not too bad. See, this one isn't too bad. It was too big, so we'll kind of side spot and dig in. It's going to take a while, so 
yeah, cut recording until we, uh, get there. Like, forever now. Seriously? Uh, no! I just, uh, I just accidentally, I just accidentally let go of the mouse pine. Seriously, um, if you ever need a present and you have applied energistics to installed, go and get a bunch of this and make the prison out of that. It will never break. Like, I don't even think obsidian takes this long to mine. Cause, dear God, this takes forever. God. Bear in! <gasps> Iron Nugget and an engineering press. Flawless. Alright, let's continue our adventure in the world of Minecraft. Oh, look at the little sheep close to the lava. I didn't do it. He fell in himself. You have to believe me. <coughs> we got another little dungeon over here, I think. Is it a dungeon or is it a village? Oh, oh it's a zombie dungeon. And we have a uh, quarried stone, which is freaking awesome. I love that stuff. Alright, let's kind of sneak in and get a closer look at these guys. Oh, it's one of those cool ones. Oh, I love those dungeons. Because it's got a nice little bridge system thing. It's really cool. Oh, planes. Alright, I'm going to go check out the planes. No! And I'm dying. I'm so dead. Just, no. Rip. I hate this stuff. It makes me so dizzy. Water. Water. So I found a nice flat area. Um, and I'm thinking I might make my house around here. Maybe. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't really match the, uh,. The way my house is in real life, because I live in New York State, so a flat area like this doesn't really exist. <laughs> it doesn't really exist so much, but there is an ocean here. You know, a nice little beach would be cool. Oh, is that an island? Oh, dude, if that's an island, I'm still making it on the island. Oh, it looks like it's an island. It's an island. Dude. Dude, is it big enough? Is it a big enough island? I mean, it's not a very it's not far out, but oh, it might be big enough. Dude, this is hype. This is hype. Hello, pigs. Are you a part of my hype? If not, oh, what the hell is that? Oh. Certain quartz. I wasn't sure what it was. Alright. A nice little ocean, and I'm thinking this might be the place. I don't know. I mean, for the sake of building, I'd have to take all of this down low, you know, flatten the area. But I think I might. What the hell? What the hell? What? Is it like. Do I have a rat crafts installed? Uh, rail? No, I wanted that railcraft. Yeah, rail. I do have railcraft installed. I didn't know that. Huh? Fancy. Okay, cool. Either way, guys, uh, I'm gonna end this episode here. Um, yeah. Talk. I think we found ourselves a house, and I will talk to you guys later. See you guys.